It's possibly the next development in the evolution of the internet. Forget what you know about the World Wide Web right now and imagine a world that until now has been top secret. The company Exit Reality started development six years ago. Avoiding Silicon Valley, 30 full-time programmers went underground, working from this ordinary Melbourne factory. As founder Danny Stefanik imagined the internet with no real or virtual limits. Exit Reality is a culmination of nearly eight years worth of work. Uh, it's a 3D browser or a plug-in for uh, browsers that allows you to view the entire internet in 3D. It's easy to be a cynic until you watch it work. This is my space right now in 2D. But click that button and suddenly you're in my MySpace apartment, viewing all the content from the 2D page, the video, the photos, my music becomes my jukebox. Users can design their own pages and all that extra uncluttered space could be the next big thing in online advertising. All these walls that we see in this MySpace apartment can actually be sold as advertising too. Absolutely. Well, there's three main ways that brands can make money. They can they have more space to advertise in, they have longer session times than people would stay on their 2D website, and then they've got all the giveaway objects where people take away these branded objects and use them in their own locations. Advertisements in 3D can be monitored by every minute detail. The computer senses how long the customer has stared in the direction of the ad banner. And with a click of a button, that 2D website turns 3D. You get an avatar which looks a little bit like yourself, and that helps you to navigate through the various different points of that 3D landscape. But where this could really be used is by, say, an online supermarket who could replicate their real life store layout in a 3D internet web page. Customers would spend less time searching for what they're after because they already know where it is, they're familiar with the store's layout. So, what if you wanted to watch something like YouTube, just a normal video? How does that show up in 3D? Um, just the same as visiting any other site, you can view it in 2D or 3D. But in this case, we've uh, got a template or a theme there, which is a cinema. So you actually experience watching videos on YouTube here <laughs> as a cinema. You can simply play the video within the 3D environment. <laughs> Exit Reality is free to use. The company makes money through search engines. But unlike Google's customers, whose ads are displayed in small blue text, Exit Reality has a virtual plaza where web customers can literally walk through the door. For you, it's been eight years. How big an investment has it been? Oh, it's been millions of dollars and thousands and thousands of man hours um, to get to this point. We've got quite a big team working on this and uh, growing every day, so we're in rapid expansion. But already there are those who question whether 3D internet is simply a social networking gimmick. That's why I think the kids will like it. It's a, it's a toy, it's fun to play with. But if your objective in uh, surfing the web is to find information, get it and get out, this is just going to slow you down. And he has a point. Websites heavily reliant on text, like a news website, are still better viewed in 2D. At the moment in 3D, it's a bit of a mess. But Danny Stefanik's hoping there is enough Web 2.0 content to translate into Web 3.D. How many people are you expecting to take up within the first year? Well, we've got some pretty big brand partners on board that are going to be pushing Exit Reality out. Then there's the viral nature of people decorating their MySpace apartments and telling their friends. Uh, so we expect both a viral and a corporate push. Uh, so with millions of people within 12 months easily. It's been a coming of age for the technology and those behind it who believe it's finally time for 3D internet to leap from science fiction into the mainstream. Remember 10 years ago, if you looked around at a room full of people on computers, you'd be thinking, internet geeks, what's going on here? Where have they all gone? <laughs> I think they're all here, actually. <laughs> uh, we're employing them all. Aaron Young, Sky News Business Channel, Melbourne.